Hi everyone. I've been asked several times what kind of fertilizers do you use in your hydroponic setup? Well, let me tell you about it. Here's the uh, sump. This is where we uh, brew the uh, magic elixir that uh, feeds our plants. Master Blend is a uh, company that uh, has formulated this 41838 to be mixed with uh, calcium nitrate in a certain ratios depending on the type of crop that we're growing. This is the three chemicals that we mix together in certain ratios uh, added to water and uh, the ratios that we uh, use depends on the uh, type of crop that we're going to raise. Uh, we're going to be talking primarily about tomatoes today, so the uh, uh, emphasis will be on tomatoes as far as ratio and uh, strength of the solution and all that kind of stuff. Well, for tomatoes, uh, the uh, blender of this uh, master blend recommends a ratio of one, one, and one half. That means that we're going to uh, mix equal amounts of uh, master blend and uh, calcium nitrate and uh, half the amount uh, of uh, magnesium sulfate or Epsom salts. Okay, now that we know uh, this 12-12-6 uh, ratio uh, for each five gallons of uh, solution in your sump, uh, let's talk about how we mix it. We start off with a pitcher, we add that uh, half bowl or so of water, and then we add uh, the 12 uh, grams of uh, Master Blend, stir that up well, Add uh, magnesium sulfate, six grams of that, stir that up well, and then finally the calcium nitrate, 12 grams, mix that thoroughly. And that's important that we keep this um, uh, order. Yeah, there's a something called uh, nutrient lockout uh, that can occur when these uh, in the mixing process. I'm not a chemist, so I don't really know, but they say that uh, if you do that, don't uh, do that in the uh, that order, then uh, the plants can't absorb all the uh, nutrients. I might add at this point, I, di I didn't add, uh, this uh, master blend also has all the trace elements in there uh, that the, the plants need to grow. Okay, next, where do we find these, uh, these chemicals? Uh, the place I would recommend, uh, and you can check all, all different sites on, uh, on the internet, the one I uh, recommend, and I am not affiliated with them in any way, is Morgan County Seeds. Morgan County Seeds. Their prices are far superior to those that uh, you'll find at uh, Amazon and eBay. What uh, these chemicals are, uh, like microbrand, uh, really about the smallest you can buy from microbrand is, uh, uh, or master blend rather, is uh, 25 pound bags. These people on eBay and uh, Amazon are repackaging this into one pound, five pound uh, packages, and uh, the cost is, is really uh, much, much higher in these sites than it is in Morgan Seed. Okay, the, what is the cost of this stuff? Well, Morgan Seed comes through again. They have a one pound combination package of uh, uh, Master Blend and Calcium Nitrate in individual packages. Remember that's important because we don't want to mix them uh, it, it all at one time. And a lot of the people on eBay and Amazon are c combining uh, the three chemicals in one bag and uh, this is a no-no as far as calcium lockout is concerned. So uh, this uh, pa special package of uh, of the two chemicals are separate, uh, separately packed uh, at Morgan Seed, and the cost is, I think, around seven dollars plus shipping, which is really a pretty good deal. They also sell individual packages of uh, Master Blend and calcium nitrate in uh, one pound, five pound, ten pound, and twenty-five pound bags. This stuff is pretty heavy, so the shipping cost is going to be uh, a factor in uh, what uh, you want to do. 
Is there another fertilizer that we can use that might be cheaper? Yes, there is. Uh, uh, there is uh, a Miracle Grow uh, puts out a product called Miracle Grow Tomatoes. Uh, I have not used it. I have seen uh, sites that have uh, give a negative review, and uh, so I really don't know. Uh, it is available locally and uh, it, it's not very expensive. There's no shipping cost. So if you're a beginner and just want to look in to see what happens uh, when you try to grow stuff uh, hydroponically, that might be an option. Uh, it certainly would be less costly because even that one seven dollar uh, two mix, which uh, the shipping cost is probably going to be uh, five to ten dollars. So that, that's going to be a few bucks. If you can use a 25 pound bag, it's $37 plus shipping, which is uh, really cheap, uh, a little over a dollar a pound, uh, but uh, uh, you have to have a pretty good usage to justify that. Okay, the next subject, uh, that's concentration. Okay, we, we've mixed these 12 gram, 12 gram, 6 gram solution. Uh, we dumped this into a tank. Uh, it, and say five gallons now what is the strength going to be you know we we have the ratio okay but uh, what's the concentration of this in the uh, in the uh, sump you're going to have more than five uh, gallon sumps uh, more than likely so obviously you you increase the uh, amount uh, ratios uh, as you as you uh, increase the amount of water okay this is a meter that tells you uh, what the concentration of the uh, solution in parts per million or uh, electric conductivity. Uh, this is two different ways of measuring the same thing. Uh, in our case, the tomatoes, we want a uh, parts per million of somewhere around 1,500. I generally run somewhere between uh, 1,200 and uh, say 1,700 or 1,800. And it varies uh, as the plants consume the nutrients, it's going to vary. And uh, <clears throat> occasionally you're going to uh, uh, add more chemicals to the water to make up for that used by the uh, plants. Uh, this meter is a probe. You can see the end here that you insert into the solution up to the uh, mark there where the uh, upper line is there. And then you uh, press the uh, hold button and uh, then you can read the concentration in parts per million or electro electrical conductivity depending on which one you're using. They're both the same thing but it's just a different, different way of specifying. Okay another thing that's commonly asked is how about this pH business? Uh, what, what's that all about? Well it's a way of telling uh, whether a solution is an alkaline or an acid uh, based, okay? Uh, seven, a pH of seven is neutral. If you were to measure uh, distilled water, uh, it would be seven. As we add stuff to it, uh, acid for instance, then the pH goes down. A pH of one to seven is an acid and a pH of eight to 14 is an alkaline solution. What we want uh, for most plants is somewhere between 6 and 7. Uh, some may be a little bit below 6, but I, I don't particularly worry about it. My pH, after I mix all these chemicals, runs somewhere around 6 something, 6, 8, 6, 7, somewhere in there. Uh, I do have a pH meter, and you can buy one, uh, probably about 15 to 20 dollars if you feel the need, okay? Okay, what I recommend finally is, uh, if you're new to hydroponics, is uh, watch all the videos you can on uh, YouTube and uh, what you can read. Uh, there's a lot of good sites uh, on uh, YouTube. Some are kind of marginal. Uh, I've seen some that uh, give you kind of misinformation. Not really, but uh, it's certainly confusing. Uh, I would highly recommend that uh, two pound package uh, from uh, Morgan, Se Morgan County Seeds, uh, the one pound of uh, Master Blend and uh, 
one pound of calcium nitrate to start, uh, it's really a, a pretty good deal uh, without spending an awful lot of money. It, the postage is going to kick you a little bit, but uh, other than that, not bad. If you if you live close to uh, Morgan County Seeds, which is in the upper part of uh, Missouri, about two-thirds of the way up towards the center. They've got all kinds of good stuff uh, at prices that I I haven't really found anything that I could buy cheaper anywhere else. Uh, most of it is it's, it's a good good price, and they got just about anything you can conceive of, uh, from greenhouses uh, to seeds. Uh, so give them a check. They're on the internet, uh, or you can give them a call. Uh, they they have uh, a phone number. And they have a super catalog. All you have to do is ask for it, and, and they'll ship it to you. Okay, if I help someone, I'm happy. And if not, I'm sorry. I will say that uh, I ha did my first garden 60 years ago, and uh, I've been in hydroponics for about seven or eight years, uh, back when uh, we didn't really know too much about it. Uh, and I'll say one more thing about what I've suggested. This is what uh, Master Blend recommends. They are a major supplier to the commercial greenhouses that uh, are doing hydroponics, so they ought to know. And also I would like to mention uh, all these liquid fertilizers that are claiming to do super things. Uh, they're way overpriced. I've seen some as far, far high as $400 a gallon supposed to uh, super uh, grow your stuff and the stuff they're talking about uh, is uh, you, I think you know uh, what that might be uh, uh, it's not particularly legal but uh, they do it okay uh, so I'll say thank you for watching I we would be happy to uh, try to clarify anything that uh, you might uh, have I know uh, there's a lot of confusion on fertilizer. I see this on a lot of websites where some of the information is not only confusing but uh, an error. So thanks again for watching and uh, if you like, uh, subscribe, I'd sure appreciate that. Comment, I love that. I, I, if I don't get any comments, I just wonder whether anybody's watched the stuff. Okay, thank you. Bye.